Hey Dino, today's unboxing is, is quite exciting because it's JVC's first foray into cheaper projectors. We've known JVC for years now as suppliers of quite high-end um, projectors, but this one is their first DLP projector with a DLP chip from Texas Instruments. Mm. So, um, Interesting. Yeah. What does it retail for? It retails for five four nine nine. And see, and that that as well is uh, quite. I mean, usually, um, JVC starts at about six seven thousand dollars for a projector. Yeah. Ooh, that's quite heavy. But this five four five four nine nine is a is a much lower price point than JVC usually has. JVC used to make their own, well they still make their own chipsets, LCD based, D-I-L-A. But this is their first projector with a DLP. How much lumens does it have? Lumens is 2000. 2000. Yeah. It's quite light and quite small. Is quite different from their other projectors because their other projectors are like 15 kg and quite like, quite big machines. This is 4K. Yes. Not native 4K though, I believe. No, these DLP chips are all yeah. UHD 4K. Right, so. Typical for DLP projectors, manual up and down, manual left, that's quite good, manual left and right. Um, most of the other um, uh, Optima and um, ViewSonic projectors, you can't move your lens sideways, but you can with yeah. this one. It has a uh, motorized lens shift function as well, where plus or minus 60 degrees, uh, sorry, 60% vertical and plus or minus 23% horizontal. Really? Mm. So you can fine tweak it uh, from the remote control, I'd imagine. Yeah, so that's great. Motorized lens shift and zoom, that's quite unique. Um, probably, that, that's probably why they're a bit more expensive than their brothers in the DLP camp. Like yeah. 5499, they're about $2,000, $1,500 more than the competition. But then JVC uh, is quite well known for the quality of their black levels. I must say these these um, these projectors that we've seen before with the, the first one was the Optima UHD 65, and then we had the Vuge Sonic, uh, the the 747, and then we now have the UHD 50 from Optima. They give really nice pictures. Um, for years I didn't really like um, DLP projectors, but DLP projectors have come, come a long way, so I'm quite interested to see see this one in, in action because um, if it's anything to go by, the Optimas and the and the Usonics give a beautiful picture. Contrast is still not the same as with the LCD ones, though. If you put the Spears and Munsell discs in, in those DLP projectors, it's really hard to get the contrast as good as the LCD projectors, but the image is really beautiful. Contrast ratio is 100,000 to 1 dynamic. Okay, all right, well that's good to know. So at the back we have uh, typical two HDMI ports, one is HDCP 2.2 for 4K. Um, interesting, this is a USB mini input, um, and then the typical uh, normal USB for uh, firmware updates and lights. 12 volt trigger, wow, that's really good. You don't see those very often anymore. Uh, RS-232, typical for control and then the computer input on VGA and the side is just a fan a bit more fan and then the typical controls on the top so yeah it's a very nice unit, quite light three points for the um, for the um, projector mount and quite a sturdy remote control with uh, the typical natural cinema, sort of the type, the, the settings, the preset, the preset settings for gamma and, and brightness and contrast. Um, but a very nice remote control, actually quite quality uh, remote control. Supports HDR out of the box. 
4K. So yeah, it'll be we'll put it to the test and see because in the family of 4K UHD projectors, um, the Optima was leading the way, and it's quite unusual for the likes of JVC and Sony and Epson to go away from their LCD projectors and go into DLP as well. Sony has never done that. Epson has never done that. JVC does, so bold. But um, yeah, I, I think um, promising device. So we'll see. We'll see you later. Don't forget to click the bell button, subscribe with notifications, and we'll see you for the next um, unboxing. Cheers.